So, as you see, it's a lot more than just a collection of algorithms. We need something to pull all the pieces together. That's what PKI does. The public key infrastructure gives us that backbone that allows us to use our longer and slower asymmetric keys to distribute the shorter and faster symmetric keys. So we have this hybrid approach that pulls everything together and allows us to implement a good part of our entire cryptographic solution. But we're not quite done. Don't forget about the use of digital signatures and digital certificates. For the exam, make sure that you know the difference between those two. It's likely that you'll get a question, and it's a common mistake to confuse one for the other. So know your cryptography algorithms. Know your digital signatures and your digital certificates, and you'll be better prepared to pass that exam.